BC Simon here. So today I'm going to show you evidence that Paul Rue is in fact Satoshi Nakamoto. Him and Hal Finney. And what I'm going to show you is absolute evidence. A few days ago, I opted to go and search and try to find out more information about Paul LaRue after seeing a documentary. Pretty fast, I began to believe that Paul was Satoshi. And with my digging and uh, behavior analytics background, I, I started looking into this guy's behaviors and thought he is him probably. So now I got to figure out who closest to him would know if he in fact is or isn't. So I did my digging and I found a whole lot of information, some that can be shared, some that can't. But the one thing that I have approval to share on the day that Satoshi disappeared from the form is this. Satoshi Nakamoto is in fact Paul LaRue. First, we're going to enter the key. Right here, the Bitcoin address, the key. This site, bitcoin.com tools slash verify message. You can do it yourself. I've included the information below. Uh, I'm not making any money on this. I'm just, you know, my goal here is for Paul to get the attention that he deserves uh, for his creation. And not just that, he's in prison right now. So maybe this will allow Paul to have the opportunity to uh, maybe redeem himself in life and if maybe finish the job of Bitcoin because he wanted Bitcoin 2.0 and Bitcoin was never completed. So here I've entered the message. Here's the transaction message. And then on the bottom, you're going to add the signature. Okay, so this portion is the signature. Now it's going to come up with a message. Either it's going to be verified or not verified. And what we have here is it's a valid Bitcoin address. This is the first address that's sent to Bitcoin. And it was sent to Hal Finney by Paul LaRue, January 12th, 2009. And there's the valid signature below, meaning that all three checks verify that Paul LaRue is in fact Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, this is what I want you as a viewer, regardless of your Bitcoin maximalist or what your opinions are, what religion you're part of in this crypto industry, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, I want you to really identify what it is that this means. This means that just like Nikola Tesla, Paul LaRue has been blacklisted in this world because he was a little bit different, because he was a threat to the system in some capacity. And I believe wholeheartedly that Paul has done some horrible things in his life, but he also has the capacity to do some unbelievable things. And with his release date and 2034, I think the public knowing this information will allow Paul the opportunity to really have a chance to complete some of the technology that he had started. And, you know, my source said to me that he wanted to free the world. And uh, many people think that's some grandiose position to have, but uh, Paul believed that he could, and now there are millions of people that believe he can as well, just under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. And I think what's really important at this point to understand is that everyone should be embracing Paul and allowing him the opportunity to thrive and flourish the technology, whether it be Volder Systems, uh, Bitcoin 2.0, uh, developing something that's going to improve this world, because obviously this world is recycling, recycling, recycling. And when you keep recycling things, eventually the system falls apart. 
and someone like Paul needs to come around and change things and make them better, or at least sustainable. Thank you. That's my video, and uh, I'll see you soon.